Hello, and welcome to the tutorial series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this tutorial, we show how to publish virtual databases. Note that tutorials are not meant to be comprehensive training modules. Instead, they demonstrate a very basic use case that can be built quickly and easily. However, the Community Edition Knowledge Base contains additional information that will help you learn more and go deeper. Additional resources in the knowledge base include resources used to build the tutorial, such as data virtualization archive files, data source files, and a document version of this tutorial. Additional information, including documentation and training materials. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining publishing and outlining its importance in data virtualization projects. Next, we demonstrate the basics of publishing virtual databases. Finally, we summarize the contents of this tutorial. Let's begin by discussing what publishing is and why it is important for data virtualization. Data virtualization developers use TDV Studio to create virtual views, procedures, transformations, and other types of resources. By default, these resources are not accessible to data consumers. Publishing is the act of making TDV resources accessible to authorized consumers. We can choose to publish resources as virtual databases, as web services, or both. Virtual databases can be accessed by any client tool that connects via JDBC, ODBC, ADO.NET, or OData protocols. Published web services are accessible via REST and SOAP protocols. In this introductory demo, we will concentrate on publishing virtual views, which is the most common use case for publishing. However, many other types of resources may be published, including procedures, transformations, tables from physical data sources, and even entire physical databases. Publishing is an essential capability for data virtualization because it makes virtualized data accessible to data consumers. Virtual databases provide a simplified front door to all data in the enterprise while hiding the complexity of the many disparate physical data sources in the enterprise. Publishing as a database is important because it presents data in a format that can be accessed by all visualization tools. This means that data consumers can continue to use their data visualization tools of choice to consume virtualized data. Next, let's walk through the basic steps of publishing a virtual database. Here is the business problem we illustrate in this tutorial. TDV developers access many different physical data sources to produce federated virtual views of data. However, these views are only accessible within TDV Studio development environment. They are not visible to data consumers using other data visualization tools. To make these virtual views accessible to data consumers, we will publish them into a virtual database. This virtual database presents itself as an ANSI standard SQL database and accepts client connections from any tool that can use JDBC, ODBC, ADO.NET, or OData protocols. We're now ready to begin. We're going to publish the virtual view named Composite View from the TDV examples folder, as shown here. Right-click Composite View and select Publish. As the dialog box shows, I have already published several virtual databases. I could publish to one of these, but for this example, let's create a new virtual database. Click Databases to indicate that you do not want to use an existing virtual database. Now click Add Composite Service. Give the service a name. The new virtual database is created. Now the Add Catalog and Add Schema buttons are enabled. These are optional. However, if you want clients to connect via ODBC, be sure to define at least a catalog. The ODBC protocol requires a catalog to be present. For this example, we'll define a catalog and a schema. The catalog and schema are added to the virtual database. 
Optionally, you can change the name of the published view. Click OK and the view is added to the schema. Now you can open the published view and examine its column names and data types. Click Show Contents to bring back a small sample of the data. Our published view is working correctly. Let's publish a second view in order to show how to add a view to an existing virtual database. Create a new view in a folder of your choice. Again, we'll use the composite view as our example, but you can use any resource you like. Drag it onto the canvas and define the projection as you would for any view. Right-click the new view and select Publish. Now, instead of creating a new virtual database, simply select the schema we created earlier. Optionally, change the name for the published view and click OK. The new view is added to the virtual database. You can open it and examine it just as we did before. Finally, let's see what happens as we make changes to published resources. Open the view you created for the last example. Don't open the published table in the virtual database, but open the view you published in your development folder. Change the view as shown here and save your work. Now open the published view in the virtual database. Note that our change is reflected in the columns list and in the return data. Resource changes are automatically propagated. No republish is required. Open the lineage diagram to verify the lineage of the change we made. The new column was added in the view we created based on composite view and was propagated from there to the published view. We have seen how to publish a view to a new virtual database, how to add a view to an existing virtual database, and we have examined the effects of changes to resources. Our tutorial is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this tutorial. Data Virtualization Developers use TDV Studio to create virtual views, procedures, transformations, and other types of resources. By default, these resources are not accessible to data consumers. Publishing is the act of making TDV resources accessible to authorized consumers. We can choose to publish resources as virtual databases, as web services, or both. Virtual databases can be accessed by any client tool that connects via JDBC, ODBC, ADO.NET, or OData protocols. Published web services are accessible via REST and SOAP protocols. In this introductory demo, we concentrated on publishing virtual views, which is the most common use case for publishing. However, many other types of resources may be published, including procedures, transformations, tables from physical data sources, and even entire physical databases. Publishing is an essential capability for data virtualization because it makes virtualized data accessible to data consumers. Virtual databases provide a simplified front door to all data in the enterprise while hiding the complexity of the many disparate physical data sources in the enterprise. Publishing as a database is important because it presents data in a format that can be accessed by all data visualization tools. This means that data consumers can continue to use their data visualization tools of choice to consume virtualized data. As you work with publishing in TDVs, keep these key takeaways in mind. You can create as many virtual databases as you like, and you can add resources to any of them. Optionally, you can create catalogs and schemas for your virtual databases. Note, though, that ODBC clients require the presence of a catalog. When you change an underlying resource, the published dependent resource is automatically changed. After completing this tutorial, you are ready to make your work available to external clients. Use your learning from this tutorial to publish virtual views for end-user consumption. Leverage your knowledge to publish other types of resources, such as procedures, transformations, and physical tables.
Use other tutorials to learn how to connect client tools to your virtual databases using protocols such as JDBC, ODBC, ADO.NET, and OData. Thank you.